This will be a demonstration of the Learn Morse using Cope method by W5LA. First, we'll take a look at the settings. You can set the speed at 10 to 20 words per minute. Now, this is the timing between characters and words using the Farnsworth method. All characters are sent at 20 words per minute. You can change the tone frequency between 600 and 800 hertz. Currently, I'm set at 650 hertz. You can also turn sound on or off. This is when you're practicing characters if you get one correct or you are incorrect. In help, you can see how to use the program. It is a text document there that you can read. If you need to, you can print it and get a hard copy of it. There are 40 levels in the program. Each level adds one character to what you're practicing on. The number to send is when you're sending characters or code groups of groups or call signs. It's how many will be sent in that particular session. You'll see more about that here a little bit later. Let's start by practicing characters. When you click on it, a character will be sent and you, you press that character on the keyboard. You notice if you're correct, you see the character in black as well as the little ding because I have sound turned on. Now, that was an I. If I press S, I get a big red X and a burp sound. And it will repeat that character that you missed until you get it correct. Press Escape to stop or let it send the entire number of characters. Let's, let's, let's let it send five of them like we have said here and then we'll take it from there. I intentionally missed the last one to show you. It said that my score was 80%. I missed one of the five. Click OK. And uh, then you can repeat that if you'd like. When practicing code groups, you have a choice of doing them one at a time or in groups. Let me show you how both of them work. If you do it one at a time, it's going to send a group. Then you view it. Then you can go to the next one. Watch this. You can view it. That's uh, again, these are scrambled groups. These are not going to be words. Then you go to the next one. If you want to, rather than clicking view, you can press enter and press enter again to get the next one. Okay, if you'll notice, the number to send was five, but this is going to continue until you press escape to stop. So now let's look at code groups and do it in groups. What it's going to do is send five groups and then display the groups on the screen. Okay, there you see the groups that were sent. You should have been copying on paper, and you would compare your copy with what you see up above. And then you'd say, let's say, for instance, that we missed three characters. Enter the number missed of three, press Enter, 
and it says that we were 85% accurate on that. Once you get past level 5, you can practice words. It's going to send a word, then you can view, and then send the next one. Smile. Storm. Tail. Okay, can press escape to stop. Once you get past level 17, you can practice call signs. Call signs are like words. They can be one at a time or in groups. If you do it one at a time, it will be, it will be just like it was in words. It'll send a call sign. Okay, I think you get the idea. If you have any questions, send those to me via eBay. Thanks a lot. 73.